Hi guys, my name is Alana. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today is my very first day as a certified nursing assistant. I actually start today at 2 p.m. I am doing the evening shift for the first time. I'm going to be doing 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. and I'm very, very excited. So I wanted to do a video of what is in the bag that I packed for myself because when I was a student nursing assistant, it was two weeks and it was the 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. shift and I had no idea what to bring so I brought nothing. All I had was my little notebook and my wallet and my phone and those were all on my person but I didn't have any bags and whenever I needed anything like a drink of water, I would have to go out to my car and I only had three breaks three. <laughs> so three opportunities to go drink water. It was not smart. So I want to do things completely differently. So I made like a mental note every time me or my friend was like, man, I really wish I had this right now. And I put all of those things into this little bag. But mind you, this is not everything I'm going to be carrying because on my person is going to be my phone and my wallet because I just don't want to leave those unattended. And I thought it was like against policy for me to have my phone on me and my wallet on me, but it turns out nobody cares. I just keep those things zipped up in a pocket of my scrubs. Also on my person is this tiny little notebook that I got from Amazon and I will link it below because I love this notebook. It's awesome. It also has a little folder in the back, even though it's a really small notebook and I didn't expect it to have that. So in here I have my little old badge, which was me when I was a student nursing assistant. And they also have some labeling stickers in the back that came with the notebook. And then also my punch in card, which obviously I can't show you. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of information in here. I highly recommend having a little notebook like this. This is the perfect size to keep in like a scrub pocket, like here, for example, because when you're a student nursing assistant, CNAs that are highly experienced will just start telling you things and you're going to want to remember them. Like I remember one time my favorite CNA was just like, here's how you feed a dependent patient. And then she just gave me all the information I needed and I just wrote it all down. And so if I ever need to get back to that, here we have this. And then I can also scribble down, like if we take someone's BP and I don't want to forget it, I can scribble that down in here. Then it does violate HIPAA if anybody else sees it. So I need to make sure that nobody else has access to this notebook but me. And so I try to scribble out um, information that is no longer relevant to me, like residents I no longer care for, information I've already written down. So yes, it's you gotta be cautious when it comes to writing down statistics from your residents. You can sort of, you, you can do it, but just, just you gotta be cautious, just letting you know. And then my favorite pen, which is not left-handed certified, I'm left-handed and it does smudge a little bit, but it is so nice the way that it writes. It makes my handwriting look so nice, even when I'm scribbling things down really quickly, is the Pilot G2 10. It's really nice, so I'll also be keeping this on my person. Also, what I won't be showing you today is my water bottle and my lunch. My lunch is currently going to reside in my car. I just keep my lunch in my car because I like to eat lunch in my car because I'm an introvert and I do not like talking to other people. I like to have that be my zen time. I bring a lot of food with me because staying on your feet all day long is so exhausting and makes me very hungry. And I also wear compression socks. I can't not wear compression socks because it hurts. Okay, now we're getting into the actual bag. Um, yeah, so this is just a tiny little bag. If I were to guess, I would say it's about the size of an average piece of paper. Considering I'm a brand new CNA, uh, I just don't feel like I need that much stuff. I will probably get a bigger bag once I'm in nursing school. This is fine for now. I just got it from Target like two years ago. It was probably $15 tops. So the front pouch has things that I need to access really quickly. I'm not gonna show you where exactly this is because I'm I'm just for some reason really worried about somebody seeing this who works with me and then stealing my money but I have a couple dollars in here with just some coins we have some vending machines that are very annoying because they don't take fives even though they say they take fives they do not take fives they only take ones and coins so I have a bunch of ones in a little pouch and some coins and then I also have balm.com from Glossier um, this is actually not for the intended purpose it's not just for my lips because now that I think about it actually I'm not going to want to put something on my finger and then put it on my lips. When I'm working, I really avoid putting my hands on my portals of entry. So any holes in my face. I avoid touching my nose. I avoid touching my mouth. I avoid touching my eyes when I'm at work and I'm sanitizing my hands, washing my hands so frequently, but still it's just like a, a peace of mind thing. I want to know that there is no possible way that my hands touched a portal of entry in my body. So I actually would not use this for my lips when I'm at work. I would only use it on my hands because again, we're washing our hands so frequently and I hate the feeling of dry hands. And I'm sure when I'm touching a resident, they don't like when my hands are dry either. 
even though usually I'm gloved, so I don't know. But then I also have this lip gloss, which is one of the ones that you can kind of just put on your lips here and then swirl it around. And then I also have a fidget cube, which I probably will never use. I never get bored enough at work to actually need one of those, but I still wanted to bring it because I don't know, it's just kind of nice to have. So now we're in the main compartment where I have so much stuff. Okay, so the first thing I see in here is my stethoscope. So I have the Lipman 3 stethoscope in pearl pink. And my mom recommended that I get a color because doctors will steal it otherwise. And there aren't really any physicians just walking around the long-term care facility that I work, but I would like to keep this one for forever. I really like the color. I think it's very pleasant and kind of happy. So I actually don't use this. This is not a part of my required uniform where I work because I work in a long-term care facility. And so this would feel probably too medical for the residents. Um, but I do need this in case I end up taking a manual BP, which often happens because the wrist cuff is not that reliable. And we don't have a lot of stethoscopes at my facility. So I would rather just use my own personal one anyway, because my ears have already touched it. So I don't need to sanitize the ear part. And I love this stethoscope. But fun fact, if you end up getting a stethoscope if you're a healthcare professional or whatever you are um don't let it get too cold because if it gets cold it could kind of ruin the internal structure and you won't hear as well so try to keep it at room temperature that's just a good thing to remember next i have some snacks because i am hypoglycemic i desperately need snacks when i get hungry i get shaky and then i definitely can't perform the best possible care so i have three granola bar options i have a cliff bar for when i really need intense protein a kind bar that is peanut butter dark chocolate and a nature valley protein sal salted caramel nut bar and then i have my airpods which are in a case that says boys tears I'm probably never gonna be using these during work. We're actually not allowed to be wearing headphones during work because then we can't hear the call lights. Makes total sense, but during my breaks, maybe I'll wanna use these, although I kind of doubt it, but it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So I have a little dry shampoo, just in case. I really don't like the feeling of greasy hair. It's not even like a looks thing. It's a sensory thing. I don't like how my hair feels when it is greasy. It kind of drives me crazy. So I just have this mini little dry shampoo just in case. And then I have this little pouch that has a bunch of little emergency things. And this just makes my little type A heart so happy. I'm gonna show you everything in here. I, I just love this little thing. It it's, brings me such glee. So first we have this little medicine container and it's labeled with ibuprofen from a long time ago. I've never taken the ibuprofen in here, but it still looks totally fine. But I also have some hippie stomach medication in here. It's for IBS, but I have a sensitive stomach anyway, so I like that. And then I have a tiny little hand sanitizer, which I probably will not use because there's hand sanitizer everywhere. A little cough drop. Obviously, if I'm actually coughing, I won't go into work because I could be sick, but also spring has sprung. My allergies are really bad. Hopefully you can't tell. So this is a good idea to have, even though I will never be going into work sick. I have a mini bomb.com in case I lose the first one. I have an extra watch um, just in case my current watch, which is the prestige medical water resistant watch, which has military time as well. And it's nice and big. It's super easy to read. I love this thing, but I have a mini little watch that I got for $10 from Target. And I thought it didn't work, but I actually just couldn't figure out how to do it. So I figured out one day how to use it and I didn't need it because I had already purchased this one. So this is in case my watch suddenly stops functioning, which I actually think is kind of smart because you need a watch, like you need a watch. So it's just nice peace of mind to have an extra watch in case that happens. Although hopefully I will never need this. Then I have two tampons because I don't track my period because I'm an idiot and so sometimes it just arrives. Then I have some emergency Narcan. Um, please, if you are a, an employer watching this, no, I am never going to administer this to anybody unless it is a severe emergency because I'm not qualified to administer Narcan to anybody. But my mom is a nurse practitioner. She got extra Narcan for emergency purposes. This is really if I'm like driving on the road and I see someone who is completely passed out and is unresponsive and it is a suspected heroin or narcotic overdose. I find comfort in having this because it could easily save somebody's life. Somebody with a drug problem who took way too much who needs to have this. So Narcan is basically a uh, narcotic uno reverse card. <laughs> oh my god, that was so Gen Z of me, but um, Narcan goes into the nose and then it reverses the effects of narcotics. 
So that is only for extremely emergency purposes and I will not be using that on any of the residents because none of them have access to heroin or any narcotics that could actually overdose them, hopefully. And then I have cleansing wet wipe, cleansing dry wipe to clean the phone. Sometimes it freaks me out how much I touch my phone, how germy it probably is, so it's just comforting to have this on hand just in case. And then I have the extra bits for my stethoscope in case the ear bits get loose or broken, and then also the like um, rubbery bits on the outside of the actual stethoscope. I have lactate because I'm lactose intolerant. It's weird because I'm so specifically lactose intolerant because I need this if I have milk in my coffee. Sometimes people accidentally put milk in my coffee instead of almond milk, which makes me a little bit mad. Um, but then also if I have ice cream, I love ice cream, then I need to have lactate. But if I have cheese, I'm actually fine. And then I have a bunch of hair ties. One time I was just like walking around and my hair was still super long and it was in a braid. And I was just walking around on the floor looking for call lights. And then suddenly my hair just went loose and I realized my hair tie had snapped and I didn't have any extras. And so I had to just wear my hair down, which now it's fine to have my hair down because it's not over my shoulders, but that's not allowed. You have to have your hair up. And then some wet wipes, which I won't be taking out because they're kind of smashed in here, but. Just some antibacterial wipes in case I'm like working at a desk, I would probably prefer to wipe it down. So all of that fits in this one little pouch, which is awesome. Next I have this little pouch, which just has a couple extra pens in there. And then also in this little container, it was a Glossier um, moisturizer, but I ran out. So I just put some lotion in here. This is Twisted Peppermint Lotion, which is probably, even though it's pretty subtle, it's probably too scented to use because we're not allowed to have anything crazy scented. And the rules are in there for a reason. Like I, if I was a resident, I wouldn't like someone smelling really strongly, but I still like to have this. I don't think it smells too strong, honestly. And then I have a couple caramels because sugar. And then I just have a bunch of backup pens. We're near the end. Um, I have this book, maybe you should talk to someone. This is very bold of me to bring. Um, because it's kind of like saying I'm gonna have free time, which means that I'm not gonna have free time. I think that's Murphy's Law. As a student, every time I said, wow, it's pretty slow in here, everyone would be like, do not say that. All the call lights are gonna start going off. Like it was a universal rule that everybody would go, mm -mm, you're not allowed to say that. It's like in theater, you can't say Macbeth. Um, I just made a lot of theater kids mad, but um, it, it's very similar to that because it's not wrong. Like every time I'm, I think, wow, it's really slow in here, call lights start going off and suddenly I'm on my feet for three hours in a row. So it is bold of me to even bring this, but I've never worked the 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. shift. So I'm thinking once the residents all go to sleep, I might have some free time. Knock on wood, I cannot even comprehend the concept of having free time at work because when I was a student and working the 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. shift, I never had time off. Like it was never slow. And even if it was slow, there were always things I could be doing. So I rarely had any time where I was doing nothing. So this is a little bit bold of me, but we'll see if I end up having any time to read. And I'm so beyond excited to work for the first time as a CNA. For the first time, I'm not gonna be introducing myself as, hi, my name's Alana and I'm a student nursing assistant. I'm gonna say, hi, my name's Alana, I am a CNA. I'm a CNA. It's just really cool. Um, I'm really excited about it. Considering I'm only 18 and I'm a CNA, I feel very proud of myself for that. Um, yeah, anyway. That's pretty much it for this video. I really enjoyed making it. I love showing you guys everything that I carry and I will see you in the next video. Um, wish me luck on my first day, but also you don't have to wish me luck because by the time this is uploaded and edited, I will have already done my first day of real work. So yeah, but anyway, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it so much. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.